So we're here in the studio with Robin Legrand, our trip coordinator, and she always has some wonderful trips for us. So let's find out what's in the schedule. Hi, well, July's busy. We have a lot going on, so oh, let me just That's go. right, we're right into July, we're into aren't July we? into July already. So Friday, two days from now, we're gonna go see Capitol Steps at the Ronald Reagan Building. Oh, downtown. I understand, they're wonderful. They are wonderful, just, I mean, just a great group. Just, you'll laugh the whole time. You just, mm -hmm. they'll keep you in stitches. But if you wanna go to this, then you have to let me know by the end of the day today. Okay. Because I have to buy the tickets. I mean, we have to right. have the tickets before we go down and we're pushing it. We're really pushing it, but I'll pick up the tickets tomorrow. So that'll give you an opportunity today. Okay. So there are only about um, five seats left on the bus anyway. So if you interested, okay. just, I need okay. you to do that soon rather than later and Monday's a holiday it is it's gonna be a great day yes. so <laughs> the office will be closed that day every day's a holiday for <laughs> us around here lucky you all <laughs> my goodness I'm getting there um, on Tuesday the bridges of Madison County at mm -hmm. Kennedy Center now I don't have enough to buy the tickets yet so if you want to go to that you need to do that by Friday because that's going to be the cutoff date and if I don't get the numbers then we're going to have to cancel that because okay. I don't want to purchase tickets that I'm not able to sell. Sure. So I need to know by Friday. Absolutely. That's the latest that you'll be able to sign up for that. Okay. Uh, and if if we don't get the numbers then I'll have to notify the people who have signed up so that is imperative that that happens by Friday. Okay. On Tuesday the 6th is La Cage Faux at Signature Theater. Mm -hmm. So I've already purchased tickets. There, there's room on the bus, but again, if you want to go, then I need to know by Friday because I'll have to go back to get additional get tickets. Additional. I only want to get the tickets for the numbers sure. that I have. So sure. that's why I need to know in advance. It's better to know in yeah, advance. If you want to take any of these trips, you do have to watch that sign-up date because you can't wait till the last minute. You can't. You just have to plan ahead a little bit. That's right. And they, they do sell out. So, you know, sure. if you want to go, you, you want to get on. Like, on the 7th on Thursday kinky boots at the Kennedy Center well that's sold out sold out so I have a wait list so if you um, want to go on the wait list you can you know you never know people do cancel out but you can go on the wait list mm -hmm. on Friday the 8th is the thing I love tea room in Manassas oh so a resident told me about that mm -hmm. and you know talked about how wonderful it was so I put it on and the response is very good so yeah. I only have a couple of seats left on that it's a small place uh -huh. so they can't accommodate a really large group so mm -hmm. but I only have a couple seats left on that too so if you want to go um, go ahead and sign up it's best to sign up early like you said mm -hmm. um, if you know they can do about this. this little tea house well I've not been there this oh. will be our first trip there uh -huh. but the resident and say it's just it's just a beautiful lovely experience uh -huh. so it's more than just a trip it is an experience uh -huh. so you know that everything's fresh and they get their you know um, vegetables and stuff from uh -huh. local farmers and whatnot sounds so wonderful it does so we'll see this is the first time and if it's good we'll go back uh -huh. Then on the 11th, Smithsonian Adventures. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a free trip this time. So every so often we'll mm -hmm. offer a free trip. And Explain that a little bit for our new residents. Smithsonian Adventures. Mm -hmm. Okay, what it is, it's an opportunity to go to one of the museums of your choice. It's like we have a route. We do a circle mm -hmm. and we drop off at each one of those museums. Now you can bring the um, guests or, or family members and you can go to any of those museums that you like. You just let us know which one that you're going to. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to stay there the full time and you want to go to a different museum, well, you need to let us know that too because we'll pick you up at that point. At that point you mm -hmm. know. But we need to keep track of who we let off where and where we need to pick them up. Mm -hmm. And Monday is full. The bus is full at this point. So if you're interested, then you have to go on a waiting list because we may have and to go next month. <laughs> and go next month. And next month won't be free. So that's probably why this one is full, right? <laughs> but it's never very expensive. <laughs> no, it's not. It's fifteen dollars for the Smithsonian trip. Mm -hmm. So that's a great way to see, you know, a lot of those museums sure. and the new exhibits coming. And it's like um, we'll add the new African American Museum when it opens up. That will we'll add that to Beyond that, that little route. circle. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We'll do a special trip when it opens, but then after that, we'll just put it on mm -hmm. that trip so you can see. You know, you pick and choose where you want to sure. go and what you want to see. And then on Tuesday. 
the 12th, it's Pentagon City, it's another free trip, so, you know, we, we do try to offer some things and throw some freebies out there, you know, to get the residents interested sure. so they can go and get a taste of what it's like. Um, Pentagon City, I have residents who go and meet friends over there and they'll do lunch, uh -huh. and so it's an opportunity to do more than just shop. Sure. Um, on Wednesday, the 13th, actually on the calendar, it's the Military Twilight Tattoo at Fort Myer, but we've had to change that to the 20th, so it will be the following Wednesday mm -hmm. because the soldiers won't be there for that perform. They won't do that performance that day, so we're going to change that to the 20th. So for everyone who signed up, I will be putting notices in the cubbies just mm -hmm. to make sure that they're still available for that one, and I still have room for that. So if you're interested, um, on the 14th we're going to go to Cracker Barrel and Buckland Farm Market, which is one of the best farmers markets mm -hmm. in this area I believe because everything is so fresh even the meats and and all the produce it's real and it's very popular it's very quaint and you know the mm -hmm. residents love it uh -huh. and Cracker Barrel what do we I mean you know oh, yeah. it's a great it, place it's, I always, don't get, it's good. always good right <laughs> so we do have some seats left on that not a whole lot but we do have some seats left on that one still and then on Friday the 15th we're going back to Nat Stadium to see the Nationals versus the Pirates. And I think I have only three seats left on that one. So there's just three tickets left for that. If you're interested, don't delay signing up because right. they won't last. Right. On Tuesday, the 19th is the um, Steven Udvar Ozzy Air and Space Museum oh, out mm -hmm. in Dulles. So um, I have a good response to that, but I do have seats available. On, 20th, on the 20th is a lunch at Siam Restaurant and a tour of Anderson House in DC. Now resident, you know, came to me with this trip mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So I went online, did some research. I'm like, this will be a good trip. So um, I do have some space left on that. So if you're interested, go ahead and sign up for that. On Thursday the 21st is Maryland Live Casino. So, you know, that's, it is what it is. Yeah. I don't think there's much explanation <laughs> needed for that one. No. On Friday the 22nd is the Philip Carter Winery in Hume, Virginia. Beautiful property, great wine. Uh, I'm not a wine connoisseur. I don't, you know like the taste of it very much, but I think that has the best wine mm -hmm. out of all the ones that we've been to. I think that the wine there is the best. And we'll have lunch, you know, I'll take a picnic lunch and you know, they have tables and you can eat inside, you can eat outside, it's a tenant area. So it's just a beautiful property. The wineries have become really, really popular because those trips are just fun. Yeah. Residents, they get out and they just have a good time. And they're so. out in the country where it's Exactly, mm -hmm. beautiful properties. So I do have some space left not a whole lot of space left on this one but I do have some space left on Tuesday the 26th is Tyson's Corner shopping so not a lot I need to say about that again residents will meet family or friends and right. have lunch or right. you know do certain things out there so you pretty much do what you want to do for three hours out there on Thursday the 28th is Tony Bennett at the Wolf Trap and we're sold out <laughs> so we have a wait list for that one too if you're interested I can put you on the wait list and you know you can be keep your fingers crossed that you know right. someone will cancel <laughs> out and you get an opportunity to go right and then the last trip of the month is the 29th is the Merchant of Venice at the Kennedy Center but I need more people right now before I buy those tickets. I don't really want to commit financially until I hit certain numbers. So I get a certain number and I'm pretty comfortable that all the tickets will right. sell. So it would be best that now the balance is due today, <laughs> which means I don't have the number. So I'm not going to purchase those tickets today. Right. But if you want to go sign up and I can rebook, mm -hmm. I'll have to release the seats today, but then I'll rebook once we get closer to the number. Mm -hmm. And as always, I need, you know, look at the back of the calendar for the upcoming trips sure. for future months because uh, Cirque du Soleil is coming in August at mm -hmm. Tyson's and that's starting to fill up. Uh, Phantom of the Opera at the Kennedy Center is in August as well. So you just have to keep an eye out um, at the calendar to see what's coming up. And I also want to mention that we're going to Sight and Sound Theater yes, in I've August for that. Samson. Mm -hmm. Now we, we've hit our numbers there, so we are going, but we still have space left on the bus. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be a great trip because we'll go and um, we'll see the show and we'll go to, um, you know, Dutch country. Mm -hmm. And we'll, you know, we'll do some touring and uh, we'll go to the hotel and then the next morning we'll get up 
and we'll go to Philadelphia for the Spirit of uh, Philadelphia oh. lunch cruise. Oh. So it's going to be, it's just overnight, but it'll be a really, right. really nice trip. And then we'll head back and it's a big motor coach. So it's the mm -hmm. big comfortable bus with mm -hmm. the, with the restroom. So mm -hmm. it'll be a really, really nice trip. Real nice. Right. Nice. And also in September, it's our Virginia beach trip. Mm -hmm. And we did this one two years ago. But it rained the whole time, oh, so you, we didn't get to experience <laughs> Virginia Beach the way we wanted to experience right. Virginia Beach. And the hotel is oceanfront, so we're right on the beach. So, you know, you could stay on the beach or you can do the touring. It's up to you. It's mm -hmm. like we're there the whole time in the same hotel, so you can pretty much, you know, mm -hmm. pick and choose what tours or what right. events you want to do. Or if right. you just want to lay out on the beach the whole time, then, you know, that's totally up yeah. to you. And check the bulletin boards because, you know, Colette has a lot of trips that we're going to be posting. Yes. For next year uh -huh. a lot of great trips so you want to keep an eye on the bulletin boards to see what's coming up for next year sounds wonderful you well, do a great job of pulling you. these up and I think it's it's interesting to to always know that if a resident has an idea for a trip to be sure and let you know absolutely you can check it out absolutely because that's where I get most of the uh, trips on mm -hmm. the calendar. A mm -hmm. lot of these come from the residents, which is very helpful to me sure. because that lets me know what you're interested in and what you want to do. Mm -hmm. So I invite and encourage residents to either call me or come see me sure. with their ideas and the things that they're interested in. Mm -hmm. Same with the vacations. Um, I have a, on, the, on the last page, there's a, a column here for trip suggestions and mm -hmm. that's with day trips or vacations so it's all about where you want to go and the things that you're interested in and the things that you want to do and I plan from that uh -huh. so you know it's like I said I still encourage you come in and see me you know let's talk about trip ideas mm -hmm. and places to go okay sounds wonderful sounds wonderful we have a minute or two left if you have anything else you want to add well no I just you know I just want to thank the residents for for being so, you know, they have loyal followers, you know, uh -huh. I have, that, that go on the trips and we have a good time and I really enjoy, you know, the company of the residents when mm -hmm. we're out there on trips. You go on a lot of these trips I go yourself. on a lot, I do, because it's a little tough for the bus, the bus driver really can't handle the bus and, you know, and, especially in D.C., he can't even leave the bus, you know, mm -hmm. so when you have to meet a guide or you need to register or check in, you know, sure. so they're always looking for the group leader. That's what we're called when we're out there, the group leader. Mm -hmm. So someone has to be the leader, right. you know. Right. And, a resident really it's just a little too much you know if they're paying for a trip I don't think they want to be responsible <laughs> no. for 20 other residents <laughs> no. so and that's why I go on a lot of these right. trips that's you know wonderful. just so it'll be seamless and it'll run smoothly okay thank you so much Robin thank you thank you okay we're going to listen to uh, a little bit of a call